now available in paperback and e-readers, Spellbound, a darker shade of black. Get your copy today at your favorite online bookseller. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and this image I'm showing you is the essay that shows you why the black church is dead in the Afro-American Negro community. Now, when you take a critical look at this picture of this black female minister laying her hands on a Negro dressed in an Easter Bunny costume, it shows you how completely insane people are in the Afro-American Negro community. Now, what's wrong with this picture? First, we have an Afro-American Negro female as a minister in a black church. And if you are reading your Bible like 80% of Afro-American Negro females say they have read their Bible, it clearly says in Paul's New Testament letters that a woman is not instructed to teach. So this female in this position as a minister is completely out of God's natural order. That's the first thing that is wrong in this picture and shows the complete death of your black church. We have a black female in the position of power that God established for men in teaching the gospel in his ministry. Your woman is in the position of a man, and that shows how completely out of God's natural order your Afro-American Negro church is right now and why that church is dead. Now, the second thing that is mind-bogglingly insane about this picture is we have this so-called Christian black female laying hands on a Negro dressed up as an Easter bunny. Now, these two things are completely diametrically opposed to one another. Your Christian religion is completely diametrically opposed to your Easter Bunny, who is an icon of the pagan religion and the spring solstice, because Easter was, at the time, was a celebration of the spring solstice. So, you have this Afro-American Negro female who says she's a Christian laying hands on a Negro dressed up as an Easter Bunny, something that has absolutely nothing to do with the Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and the reasons for why Jesus Christ came down on the earth, which was to sacrifice his life as a living sacrifice to pay the sin debt in full of all mankind, past, present, and future, and to come down to earth to redeem the souls of all mankind. So, what does Jesus Christ have to do with a Negro in an Easter Bunny costume, and what would he want to do with a person representing a pagan religion? This is something that Jesus Christ, when he walked the earth, would have an issue with, because he had those same issues that when he threw all of the flipped over the tables and took over all the money changers and flipped all those tables over when people were turning his house into a den of thieves. But here we have the Negro female letting the den of thieves into his house. And again, this is what your Afro-American Negro female will do because she supports the black pastor in exploiting the black community and stealing from the black community. But again, what does an Easter bunny have to do with the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ? That's the critical question any follower of God would ask, and that's why any follower of God would not want to have anything to do with the Easter Bunny, because that would be considered blasphemous, 
and having an individual dressed up in such a costume would be considered blasphemous to any follower of the living God because they understand that the house of God is supposed to be about paying respect to the living God and it's supposed to be about celebrating Jesus' gift of salvation and the sacrifice that Jesus made by, by giving his life so that we could have the promise of eternal life. And this is something your Afro-American Negro female does not understand about, about God or a relationship with God because she has been misled by the black pastor, the same black pastor who refuses to tell her the truth about her role in God's natural order because if this pastor truly loved this woman, he would have told her about her role in God's natural order as the help meet and the support, and he would not be giving this woman a position of power that God had, in Paul's letters, put in his Bible to say that a woman is not to be in. So when I look at this picture, I see why your black church is completely dead, because everything in this picture runs counter to everything that is in your Bible that tells you everything that is supposed to be in your word of God. So when I look at this picture, I see why your black church is dead, and your black church is dead because your black pastor has given your black woman a complete pass, and he has now started to put your black female in a leadership position. And now that she is a leader in your black church, this is why your black church is dead as an institution. It's ineffective as an institution because the follower in God's natural order is the leader. And now they are following down the road of Satan because when you have a, a pagan icon inside the church of the living God and nobody in this church, like you see these people in the background, don't have a problem with this, it clearly shows that your black church is completely out of order and is completely damaged as an institution because somebody laying hands on a Negro dressed as the Easter Bunny, this is one of the most mind-bogglingly insane things you could ever see in a picture regarding your black church. Because again, if your church is supposed to be following the living God, then you would understand why your Good Friday is a sacred day, because this is the day your Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, my Jesus Christ as well, it was the man who was taken by those Roman soldiers, and they thought they were taking him to crucify him, but in actuality, Jesus was giving his life so that we could all have the gift of salvation and the gift of eternal life. That's that's what the church is supposed to be teaching about, and that's what the gospel is supposed to be about. The good news is supposed to be about how Jesus has died for our sins, paid our sin debt in full, and then in three days was risen and came back to life, showing us that we have the promise of eternal life because after he passed and got and, and, and he paid everybody's sin debt because he was the first living sacrifice, we now have that promise of eternal life after death in this world. That's what we have as a result of Jesus Christ. But your pastors, they will not teach this because they want to profit at the expense of your black woman, and they want to continue getting money at the expense of this black woman. So these are the sermons that your Afro-American Negro pastor will not preach, and this is why he will allow this foolishness to transpire in God's house and this is why, sadly, God's house is now a den of thieves, 
led by a group of dysfunctional females who think they're going to heaven, but are slowly on the road to hell. If you would like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to try some of my SJS Direct publications, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.